Red Sparrow is directed by Francis Lawrence and stars Jennifer Lawrence as Dominica, a dancer who, after a serious accident, is trained up by her uncle to be a Russian intelligence spy. She is trained up to use seduction and sexual power in order to get information out of clients. And that leads her into this incredibly dense world of double crosses, rival spies, and people who are out there to exploit her weaknesses. And she encounters a CIA agent, played by Joel Edgerton, and both of them are being used by their government against each other. So they have to try and work together to take down the real villains out there. That's the problem with this movie is that you can have the premise it sounds pretty solid to see Jennifer Lawrence as a spy a Russian spy all right yeah that's pretty cool Joel Edgerton I like him there's a lot of talented actors here shame that this movie kind of does absolutely nothing with any of that instead it just goes for let's have a bunch of people just talk to each other about nothing in particular and then let's move on to each new scene like it's completely disconnected from the rest of the film and I can't say that I'm really disappointed because I didn't have the best expectations going into this. I heard some pretty mixed things. I heard it was just kind of, eh, like Jennifer Lawrence is good and it's very style over substance. And yes, I can agree that Jennifer Lawrence is okay. She's given very, very, very little to work with. She's trying. Good on her. And yes, sure, it's style over substance. There's no real substance to it. But there's no real style to it either. So I go from, I'm disappointed to, what the hell was this movie? Now I like Francis Lawrence as a director. He has shown that he can take a beloved source material, a huge budget, and one of the biggest stars on the planet with both I Am Legend and the last three Hunger Games movies, and actually make them work. And I thought he could do a similar thing for Red Sparrow, just make a spy movie. Have Jennifer Lawrence kick some ass and, you know, get in with some other spies and you can really watch and like, wow, this is, this is pretty powerful. You know, sure, Atomic Blonde wasn't the best movie, but it was still pretty cool to watch and there were some awesome action sequences. This movie just goes for the most boring route you could possibly think of and doesn't care about actually creating a cohesive story. It will also spend really really large amounts of time on things that actually don't have that much to do with the rest of the story. And then that pads everything out and makes it feel so much longer than it is. This is a two hour movie that honestly, and I'm being serious about this, it felt like it was three hours. I was painfully bored watching this movie. I didn't care about any characters. They weren't set up in any meaningful way. They didn't have anything that made me think, oh wow, you're an actual human being. They just felt like robots saying lines from a script that needed a serious rewrite. There are, I don't know, a few things that I liked, I guess, like James Newton Howard. He's a great composer. His score in this movie is really solid. I like the first like 10 minutes of it because it gets you all the information about the main characters with very, very, very little dialogue. And that's really cool. I love seeing that happen in a movie. And like I said, Jennifer Lawrence is okay. And the cinematography has a few nice little one point perspective shots, which, you know, I do enjoy, but that's it. That's all that Red Sparrow has. It's getting mixed reviews, but I'm honestly in the camp of this movie's pretty bad. It is not enjoyable in the least bit. I cannot see anyone actually saying, oh wow, this is a really, really cool movie. It's just boring. There's nothing here. This is the worst type of bad movie, which gives you absolutely nothing worth investing in. And I definitely do not recommend you go out and see Red Sparrow. So Red Sparrow, have you seen it? What did you think about it? What did you think about this review? Let me know in the comments below. For more Mr. Movies, click that subscribe button coming up right there. Thanks for watching.